<laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Give or take three months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give everyone. Well, with Rona happening, we, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, so we, are, there, are there more definitely coming now or? I we... know I've got three that are definitely watching the replay. Okay, cool. So we can probably. Look at that started. hair, Lisa. Look at that colour. Didn't... Oh, wow. Savannah she... gave me a haircut yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> my curls, my curls are very like bouncy because it was long and it was pulling them down. Yeah. So um, I washed after she cut it yesterday, and now I'm all boingy again. Mm. Early hair girls. ISO haircuts. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I said as long as I don't end up with a mullet or like short little bits here or one side like crazy. I was like, I don't care otherwise. Other than that, and she was like, okay. <laughs> um, Do a great job. Okay. Cool. Well, we can just get started. So. Um, firstly, I'll just briefly explain um, why we do the measurements. Uh, we perform 15 measurements. Some of those will be on your skeleton. And the reason we uh, perform measurements on the skeleton is your skeleton does not change due to environmental influences once you're fully grown. So that gives us information on your genetics. We then also take some measurements on the girth of your body, which does change due to environmental influences, and that gives us some information on your current health, um, but also gives us some information on some sort of markers like your metabolic risk factors. So for example, your waist to hip and your neck uh, measurement, as well as your wrist, will give us information on the metabolic risk factors like diabetes. Uh, other measurements like your jaw will give us information on how much growth hormone you're exposed to in uterus, which then, Normally, we'll see more of the diplomats who have a bigger jaw, which gives us information on the hormones they're exposed to. Uh, things like your finger length. So those of us with a longer ring finger were exposed to more testosterone in uterus. We then know, especially with males, they'll be more competitive, a bit more aggressive. They'll have more children. I was going to say statistically yeah, more children. The, where the they are, I say they like it's not me. Um, where the more um, competitive people in the world, the little fiery ones. Uh, so the measurements give us a lot of information. From there, we'll go on to do the questionnaire. <clears throat> that gives us, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> information on some current lifestyle factors and your current health. So just be mindful when you're going through that part of it that. It'll say sometimes um, the last three months or six months or week, or it will ask you as you are now. So just pay attention to the time frame that it's asking. So is one of them, for example, is do you get dry lips? That means do you have dry lips right now as we're speaking? Because uh, that would give us information on your phenotypic expression at this exact point in time. So we'll get before we get started, if you guys can all just um, put your emails into the um, event. So the Facebook event that you're invited to, if you can put your emails in there that you're going to use or that you have used in your profile, because that way Shana and I can request access to your profile as your coaches, which will help us to coach you over the next month. So if you guys don't mind doing that, <clears throat> just let me know when you've done that. Wait, do we do it now, Sage? That would be awesome, Debbie. Hang on, I, I hope. Just send it to me, yet. otherwise, Debbie. Just oh, I've got it anyway. Don't I? Yeah, okay. Go I've on. got it. I've got yours. Oh, thank you. Yep. And then, what Shana and I will do is you'll receive an an email that will be requesting ourselves as coaches. So you just say yes. And that means we'll be able to see your profile <clears throat> and help you through the process a bit more. Yeah. So if now you want to go to click the link that was sent to you um, so that we can start. That'll be the, the link for the, the ClickBank link. That'll, that'll give you guys the option to go in and it will ask for your name and your email. If you are a new person, if, uh, or if your token has expired. If your token has expired, you need to go in with a new email address and 
uh, go in and get the token and bring it back into your Shay app, your original Shay app. Go back in, it will say your token has expired. Follow the process, put the new token in, and you're ready to go and remeasure again. So, Bevy, it should be super straightforward. Um, Is this just the one I asked you to find an email address and then get your free account? Yes. So, Craig, do you have an old profile or is yours? Um, so, all you need to do is use a different email address. Can you do that? Awesome. So, we can all do that now. Yeah. So, just yeah, not right know. now. I, I can't do that right now, but that's all cool. That's okay. Do you want to um, jump onto with a piece of paper and when we go through with the measurements, because um, we're going to do it ourselves on ourselves. It, it is good for someone there to do it with you because they can make sure that we've got it at flat horizontal the whole way around. But if not, there is a way of doing it yourself and we will show you that. It's just that you need to be, when we do the forehead measurement, you're going to have to make sure you've got a mirror there and that you are very specific with where you hold your fingers to make sure it's exactly on the millimetre. Have you got someone with you, Bevy? <clears throat> Uh, only Seth. Okay. Um, maybe just do them on yourself and same thing with the head measurement. Just make sure you've got a mirror. Okay. You'll be in this. Yeah. Um, in the mirror. Okay. Um. So when we're all in there, let me know when you're actually at the part where it says um, your body measurement. So you actually start make, taking the measurements. In January. Uh, Craig, you're going to redo your measurements though with us. So even though you did them in January, I want you to remeasure now um, because you will have changed and your outputs will shift and change as we um, add in the optimization of this protocol. Do you want me to share screen, Sage? No. No, you're going to do it without it. Because, because I want everyone to have their own screen up because I'll be putting their measurements in. Cool. If that makes sense. Yep. Um, just wait for Craig to come back. Um, so Craig actually just said that he did his measurements in January and that's why he thought he didn't need to. Mm -hmm. Optimizing, really, we want to be doing remeasuring every month. <clears throat> to really get the most out of your profile, things will shift and change month by month. Um, it will also change as your, as your body changes, as the weather changes, as the seasons change, uh, if you change location, all of these things will shift and change the outputs of the app and what's being recommended for you or not for you. All right, okay. Craig is back. All good to go. Yeah. Right. So just let me know when... <clears throat> maybe maybe just start. I I thought I could just use the old measurements. That's all right. I haven't got a tape measure on me right this second. I think okay. I can find one, but yeah, you don't wait easy, for me though. Yeah, you can easily go in and set it up again with a new email and we'll just... Okay. Bev, are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm trying... Hang on, I'm getting back to you guys. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just cool. did the account. And you're, are you in the account? Uh, no, right now I'm in the Zoom. But okay. I, do, do I need to jump back into the account? Yeah, so you can stay listening to us while you're um, putting in your measurements. So just <clears throat> keep Zoom on and I'll talk you through it. Yep. So just go into your... Um, yeah, yeah, I'm there. Cool. So you're at the weight and height? Um, it, just the welcome to Shay page. Awesome. So from there, if you want to just... Oh, sorry, you're at welcome to Shay. Are you putting um, in... I've just got to go into it now. If you just hit OK or welcome or whichever it is, going to the next step. Where it will say, so did you put your first name yeah, in your the, email? Yeah, yeah, I did all that. And I'm at uh, the welcome to Shay page. Yeah. And it's got 
three questions. How do you feel about your current state of health? How connected or aligned do you feel with your body? How on. happy are you with your current? Just move the marker to about where you feel. If you if you feel, if it's at where you feel, you have to move it. So just move it and move it back, and then press next. <coughs> Can't even move the markers. Wait, hang on. Okay, I've clicked get started now. Awesome. It's loading. Okay, so I'm on the next page now. Where are we doing measurements? It says what happens now. <clears throat> keep going. Yep, keep going next. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, Sorry guys, like my, my internet is really bad, so it's taking a minute to, to okay. load. Okay, so I'm um, up a personal health assessment. Yep. So can you yep. guess? Uh, centimetres. Awesome. Yep. Now we're onto it. Yeah. Metric system all the way. Sweet, definitely. Even though you're kind of a little bit Mexican. Still use metrics. Yeah. <laughs> the other system's called the imperial system, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds about right. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm here. Are we there? Yep. At height and weight? Yep. Awesome. So just enter weight and height. Don't worry about BFI. Okay. Okay, then press I've done next. that, I'm at head of there. Yep. yep. Press next, and then we get to the forehead yep. measurement. So yep. the forehead measurement, you know, to go right over <clears throat> at the top of where your eyebrows are, keeping in a flat line right around your skull. You'll need to pull quite tightly because we're measuring your actual skull, so you want to pull through the hair. Okay right around to the back to where that occipital bone is. <clears throat> so where it sticks yeah. out the most. Okay. You want to be as accurate to the millimeter as you can. Okay. Hang on, I'm just going to the mirror. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. This is why sometimes I think Bevy's a diplomat. <laughs> yeah. And so we've got we've got endos here, so I know you guys understand. Okay. I good the back of the head. Okay, so we pop that one in. You good? Yep. Great. So now Everyone we move on to the, the jaw. So when you look to the right, you'll see the little um, instructions on it as well. So this one we need to go yep. to just where the 
the mandible jaw starts. So just by side your ear there, if you kind of run your fingernail down by the side of the ear and you'll feel where it dips down and then you move your jaw, you'll yep. feel that's the very start of the mandible. Yep. So you'll run the tape measure from that point down to where that um, kind of bend is or arch is at the jaw. And you'll want to put your thumb there if you can and run around the thumb so it follows the line of the jaw. Hang on, I'm just going to change it back to video. So okay, cool. I know I can watch mm. you to make sure I'm going. So it might even be helpful to actually just have her write it down on a piece of paper and put them in directly once we've gone through the measurements. Because that way she can visually see what we're doing. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm like this. Be the paper, so oh, sorry for not being prepared. Totally fine, Bevy. You can see us. If you make sure you're all on gallery view, you can actually see everyone in the recording. Okay, so hang on, I do it from the there until where? A little bit here. So if you run your fingernail along and you'll see where it dips down. Yeah. And then put the very end of the tape measure there. Yeah. And then see where the, then you've got the, um, the, where the jaw arches here. Yeah. You can put your thumb there, go around there. Yeah. And then bring it right around to the center of your face. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay, the next one around the neck will be right around the middle of your neck and the smallest part of it. But it'll also you'll need to allow it to angle a little bit. So you'll need to let it angle down a little bit. Okay. Is any of them you're unsure of, Bevy? We can just go through and amend them if you want to double check with me after. Yeah, okay. Okay. Got that one? Yep. Sweet. So next one, the chest. Now this one, the first one, these two measurements on the chest and the rib cage will be performed in the same way. So the first one around your upper chest will be right underneath your armpits. So kind of right underneath. You want to make sure that it's flat at the back here so it's not riding up. Okay. And then with that one, have a pen because you think you're going to remember and you never do. So you need to first take a full breath in and take the measurement, then breathe all the way up and take the measurement and then you'll go halfway in between them. So full breath in and then? Halfway out. Either two ways to do it. You can just breathe halfway out and take that measurement or breathe all the way out, take that measurement and then go halfway in between. Either way. Okay. Okay. Cool.
You got that one? Yep. Okay. The next one will be um, around your uh, rib cage again or around your chest. The first one's chest, this one's rib cage. So that's right where your bra strap sits and right underneath your boobs. So Hang again, on just a sec. Sorry, you keep on freezing. Hang on. Sorry, Bevy. No, it's my fault. It's my crappy internet. Right. Sorry. I've just switched it over, so... Hang on, Sage, sorry. It's okay. I can't even see you guys now. Well, if you can hear us, then yeah, yeah I can. You should That's still be okay. Up. Hey. Oh, I can see Jane. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, go. So just where your bra strap sits, and again, make sure yep. it's flat at the back, uh, underneath your boobs. And same again, you can do it either way. Full deep breath in, take the measurement full deep breath out, take the measurement, go halfway in between, or full deep breath in and then half breath out and take that measurement. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Awesome. Okay, next one. These ones are easier now. Um, around your waist. So this is the, the smallest part of your waist. Or if you can follow your ribs down, where the last rib ends. So where you can feel, I don't know what number rib it is, 12. Where that floating rib is. And just take that a, at a relaxed um, breath. So just relax your stomach muscles. Bye, Craig. <laughs> okay. Cool. Next one's your booty. Yep. So this is around the... Um, the biggest part of your booty. Okay. Cool. Okay, next one, your elbow. So this one, you want to put your elbow out straight and preferably use your non-dominant arm for these ones and your non-dominant leg. So yeah. this one, you want to wrap the tape measurement around where the elbow folds, so the fold line, and then on each bony bit to each side as well as your actual elbow elbow so we're measuring like, uh, so what's that so like the circumference of the elbow yeah you want to make sure you go over this bit when it's yeah. out straight though and follow along the line of the elbow 
So obviously here we're measuring the size of that joint. Okay. Cool. Next one, wrist. So this is, you'll measure your wrist just right where your um, watch would normally sit. So where those little bony protrusions are, just above there. Okay. Okay, next on the hand length. So you want to hold the tape measure right on where that last crease is on your wrist. So measuring the palm of the hand okay. there. And then you go right to the tip of the middle finger. I'll normally hold the tape measure there where it is because the next measurement we need to measure from the same point. Okay. So if you've gone all the way to the tip of the finger, then you go, the palm measurement will be from that line there to the, the line of just before your finger actually starts. Of the middle finger? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. yep. Okay, hang on. It's Oops. Seth was trying to call me, so it's kicked mm. me off of my dial in. Where is he? He's going for a walk to play Pokemon Go, and he keeps messaging me to add more time. That's annoying. Yeah, so I just am ignoring him for a minute. Yeah, to totally fine. Uh, so, are you at mid time? Okay, now? so that measurement. Uh, no, I just finished the hand, the second hand one. Cool. Oh, so now um, we move on to the, just press next. Hang on, I've been writing them down so I'm able to see you. Oh, okay, cool. So next one's your mid yep. thigh. So yep. this one... Um, you'll need to measure your femur and go to the middle of the femur. The easiest way to do this is when you stand up and you go like that, where that crease is there is normally the top of the femur. So then you'll be able to dig in and see where your femur joins into your hip. Okay. So okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, so pop the tape measure there. That's to just, we're measuring the length of your femur first so you can get the middle of it. So then you measure all the way down the leg to where you can feel that bone insert into just above where your knee joint is. Okay. Okay. So then take that measurement, mark on your leg where the middle is. So mine say, Thirty-nine. So I'd measure 
29.5, no, 19.5, geez, 19.5. And then I'd measure where that is on my leg and then go the circumference of my leg around that point. Okay. Make sure it's quite accurate. So you just use your pen to mark where arm it is. And this this um, gives us a marker on your stress levels. Higher cortisol will lead to smaller girths here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So the next one's the knee. The knee's similar to the wrist. So you want to go um, measure along where the line of the knee is and then keeping the tape measure flat and your feet flat, go across the middle of the patella. Okay. I love how my measurements just don't change. So interesting. <laughs> exactly the same. Okay. Okay, next one, calf. So the calf measurement, you just want to go the thickest area around the calf. So you try to eyeball it, but then sort of just test that measurement by sliding a little bit up, a little bit down, and just make sure you've actually got the thickest bit. Uh, yeah, okay it's a bit hard to really tell. And then we're almost done. Okay. Uh, the next one is the foot length. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just measure your foot length. But any, a great way to do it is to put it up against the wall or something and then have something you can measure it, um, make sure it's square and measure it against. Oh, so I normally yeah. use a ruler or a piece of paper or something so I can put the tape measure against the wall and then slide it out, make sure it's straight and measure the exact length. Lisa's saying she's had massive shifts. You have? Since Lisa did since 2017. Oh, oh, you actually had massive shifts on your body as well. Yeah, that thigh measurement that you're talking about related to cortisol and stress levels, that's gone down yeah. nine centimetres from Whoa. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, lucky I didn't throw them pants out. Well, so normally, um, <laughs> they fit again. smaller measurements result uh, are a result of higher cortisol however it will also take into consideration all of the other measurements and mm. it will, so say like all my measurements stayed the same but my thigh measurement went down it would say i'll oh, increase cortisol but if all the other measurements went down it'll look at sort of the ratio between all of those and that's um that's huge yeah. Oh, there was some minor shifts in some of the other ones, but that one mm. was really massive. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. I'm a lot more chilled out. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, now, Bevy, are you good? Yep. So now if you just move on to the next, next part of the lifestyle, so just press save where you are and I'm not sure if it will let you 
skip this part? Does it let you do that, Shana? Should be able to go across to the questions. Because what we might do... No, is... it's not letting me skip. Okay. So you're going to have to go back now and quickly put those measurements in. Okay. Yeah, and then you've got to do the questions about your hair and your skin and... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to date, update mine while we're at that because some bits have changed. And if you are someone who is... Um, while Bevy's, while Bevy's doing that bit, I might just very quickly share screen. I'm just noting down what time we are so I can do time jots for everyone. Nine. Um, I might just quickly, while Bevy's sorting that, those putting in those measurements, <clears throat> share my screen. If you are a person who is updating your measurements, um, you would go to, your screen will say, this it will say update your measurements. You're going to go to the red update now. From red update now, record new measurements and continue. And then here you will put in your weight. You guys get to see all of mine. 87.1. There we go. BFI ignore. Go through, put your height, your weight. Add in your measurements. So I've just done mine. So you guys will just make sure you add in all of your bits here. And make sure that you are... Eight. make sure you are just updating everything all the way through the questions and still go through the questions if you've only um there are a few significant questions there that you might just blow over but it is super important that you always go through all the questions because there'll be something very random that needs to change that you haven't changed that'll be a significant shift yeah for sure even when my um my measurements barely change some of the lifestyle questions actually shifted my, my number. So yep. I changed to be more activatory <laughs> uh, due to other things, I'm not sure. All the minor changes in my measurements that seemed insignificant. Two. Um. Yeah, redo all your measurements, guys. Sometimes I have said just to redo certain ones, but yeah, definitely today, redo them all. Interesting, my thigh has gone down from 62.2 to 59.5 since the last, I think it was only a month ago I remeasured. We did it in Bali. Yeah, Bali, so a month ago, just wow. about. COVID-19, lowering my stress. Well, um... You would have been under other stress because um, you were getting up really early all the time as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the time at which you do the thing can have a drastic effect on your stress levels. Always. Well, you had been getting up consistently in the morning all the time. I have been now getting up at 8 a.m. or later. Good girl. Good diplomat. Good diplomat. So, I'm proud of you when you embrace your diplomat. <laughs> so proud. Shana has been well known along the PH360 community to be an, a, an activator trapped inside a diplomat body. That is what you call your own walking contradiction. It is not even true, though. That's not what you are. <laughs> nope. You're a, a diplomat in a diplomat body. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, you'll see on my screen, you've then got all the questions to go through, mark out your colour, your skin colour, if you have any moles or freckles. So Bevy, are you here yet? Yeah, yeah. Am I olive? Um, or medium light? I'd say medium light. Seth would be dark brown. <laughs> Seth's definitely brown. And acne or pimples, those sorts of questions, have a read of the descriptions on each of these. I will give you a lot more information as to what the specificity of the question actually means. So just have a quick read of those. Capillaries, you'll know. If, and, and generally with any of these questions, if you don't know what it is, you probably don't have it. 
So really just quickly reference them and go, do I have this thing? Do I know I have this thing? Yes or no. Um, if you're up to your hair, are you up to hair, Bevy? Yep. Yep. And you can mark multiples of the hair. So it can be, you know, what, what style of hair it is. Is it oily, dry, dandruff, thick hair, thin, fine hair? Forehead, is it normal? Is it considered to be rather high? Do you have the widow's peak? All those ones. Should be relatively quick to flick through these ones. Yeah, I'm getting through it pretty quickly. Nicely done. I just keep skimming through these, Sage. Yeah, same. Just let us know if you need any questions on them. Otherwise, we'll just let you run through them. Okay. And you will need to make sure you mark something for each section, even if it is I don't know or none of the above. Is that Felicia? Sorry, that was Kendrick. Oh. They just come in um, to see what you were doing. Yeah. Uh, the crease in the earlobe question when you get to that one, guys. It's super important. Just have a look in the mirror. It, you, it will be a dominant crease in the earlobe. And it will be from kind of from the internal part outwards. As you see the picture in the diagram, it should show you there's a dominant crease there. That's what we want to know. And that's on the actual earlobe, not the side of the earlobe where I thought it was. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you look at the picture and there's a big crease here. Yeah. There's actually the crease inside the earlobe. Hang on, I uh, haven't got that yet. <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, and now I've just got to it. And just whether or not the earlobe is attached to the ear, you'll know whether or not you've got lobes or whether you've just got this ear that just attaches to the side of your head. Mine just attach, I think. Awesome. Hang on, what's this about the crease? You'll know if you have a crease in your earlobe. Just having a look in the mirror, can you see a crease diagonally coming from the internal part of the ear out of the, uh, uh, across the earlobe on a, on a diagonal kind of plane? No. 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 That's good. It's really cool. We can tell a lot from the ears. The ears tell us a lot about the heart conditions that you may be predisposed to. Um, it can also tell us a lot about your, the, 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 the tightness or the, um, the mobility of ligaments and tendons. You're going on to nails. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're up to the fingers. So just have your fingers down flat in front of you. Have your fingers together. Don't have them splayed. Have them nice and tight together so you can quickly and easily tell which one's longer. Oh, some of, with the missing, was it Lunia? Lunia. Like if there's more than six missing. So that's oh, the white bit of your nails. Some of them have them and some of them don't. Yeah, so if you're missing... Oh my God, I've than... never even thought about this. I know, it's weird, hey? Yeah. So if there's more than six missing, you'll say they're missing. Okay. But if it's only like your little fingers, then no, they're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You doing your fingers now? 
Uh, I am between the ages of seven and 11. Nice. Are you lean and lanky or have very crooked teeth? Um, this question really is a standout. Like if you were considered to be like everyone was concerned or, or everyone always called you really scrawny as a child, then you would know that you would lean and lanky. If you were just a typical kid that ran around and burn off everything you ate, then you're a pretty normal kid. Then that's um, considered normal. Okay. I don't know if I had really crooked teeth. Like deformed crooked. Or no. They were growing sideways and stuff. Did you have braces? Did you have to have braces to straighten yep. them out? Yeah. Like I put mine as crooked because my two front teeth were like, I would make an arrow in an apple when I bit into an apple <laughs> as a kid. And then my eye teeth next to them were also like pointing, like they were all out of whack and I had braces twice. Yeah. But I also had my canines. One canine was up the top of my roof of my mouth and the other one came down. I'd say yeah. yes then. Yeah. Okay. Like my kids have perfect teeth. Like two out of three have like teeth that look like they've already had orthodontic work. So compared to them, I'm like, oh yeah, mine were crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Hey, with the chronic bronchitis, I don't get it anymore, but I did. That's if you have ever been diagnosed diagnosed with it being chronic. Okay, I have. And anyone doing this at home who's watching the replay, if any questions come up, please message myself or Sage if you need clarification, but hopefully we're kind of covering most of these things here. Like varicose veins, you know you've got varicose veins if you've got varicose veins. Spider veins and broken capillaries are pretty easy to see. You'll know if you've got those, that sort of stuff. You'll know if you're bow-legged or if you've got knock knees. You'll know if you hyperextend. These are all things that you've been made aware of quite adequately um, throughout your life. Then you get into all your medical questions about birth controls and whatnot. Just go through those. If any of you are... Yeah, I'm replay, just up to that. Yeah, and if you've got any um, uh, UDIs or anything like, um, any implants or any birth controls or things like that, you can ask those questions to Sage and I and we can help you make sure you've got the right prognosis there. I've actually changed my, um, my, my brain activity, understanding that it's normal for my mind to go sluggish in the afternoon. Yep. And same for endomorphs. Once you find out you're a diplomat, you're quite often, um, a lot of diplomats are like, now nah, my brain's really slow in the morning and I can't seem to get motivated and I've got poor memory and poor everything in the morning. That's natural. Mm. That's actually us embracing our true flow. It's actually meaning we're not sluggish. We're just actually just chilling out in the morning. Yeah. And so you kind of get to know the difference. My brain works fine. It just gets a bit scattered by late afternoon or if I haven't moved enough yep. or eaten enough. <laughs> You're on mute, Lisa. Or had enough water. Yeah, water's a yes, big one. For the ectos, for sure. Or the endos. 
Yeah, Actually, well, and, but also for the Crusader, they really need the morning hydration to clear away the um, the waste products from the the metabolic activity of the processing of the information in the brain. Otherwise, it all gets stuck in there. Yeah, so yep. they can get a bit scattered. It's a big one. Same for diplomats. Diplomats and guardians fear drinking a lot of water in the morning, I find, um, because they then are concerned that they're going to go to the toilet. Right here is a perfect opportunity to let everyone know that that's actually incredibly vital, that bigger the bigger bodies, the diplomats and the guardians, you must flush your body first thing in the morning because that's when it's doing all of its fluid retention, retaining, um, detoxifying and everything like that. The more water you put into your system first thing in the morning, the quicker and easier your body will flush out any toxins from the hormones that have been processed through the night especially between 2 a.m and 5 a.m is when your body's doing that processing so when you wake up it's imperative that you have a large amount of fluid first thing in the morning before eating love your pearls of wisdom shana i'll be back gonna go get a drink <laughs> <laughs> Grandparent stuff. Cool. And when you guys get to your parents' heritage, it's just, it goes by the country. So my family are German, so it's Germany. Your family are English, so it's England or English. If it's Mexico, it's, if it's Mexican, it's Mexico. Yeah, I just put <laughs> that. <laughs> Now, when it goes to do you wish to lose fat, gain muscle, tone, or your body, that section there is actually, um, that will have a, an effect on the calorie output of your food list. Um, so that will directly correspond. So if you are wanting to lose fat, well, it's going to actually make sure that the food outputs are going to suggest how you best lose fat. If you want to gain muscle, it will support muscle gain. Um, tone your body, same thing. It will be there to fuel your body, but not too much so that your body can um, be fueled, but also be losing weight at the same time. So just understand that though they, that, that question there really gives you the parameters of what food outputs will come through. Oh, actually, that's gone a bit more now. Actually... Still a 105. Um, in the food section, it will get to the spot where it asks you how often you eat dairy in a week. If it hasn't, just scroll up and make sure it's asking any food allergies and any types of food you do prefer not to eat. Now, I always say to everyone, please do not sit in there and be like, I don't like raw tomato because I just don't like tomato. I challenge you to leave those sorts of things be what they are because if your body is actually genetically required to eat those sorts of things, maybe we could utilize these times moving forward to discover other ways of consuming those things that may be vital for your health um, rather than just things that maybe you've never been shown how to eat that are pleasant. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people will be like, I don't like tomato and I don't like grapes. And it's like, do you just not like them or are they, they actually react to you? So if there's something that you just, that you react to, then write that down. If it's something you just don't like, maybe we can just explore other ways. Uh, 
Okay, I've clicked get my results. Yay. You. <laughs> we I haven't like, yeah. had my morning coffee yet, guys. Well, it's pretty good timing to have it right now. Um, yeah, I've got to sit outside after I've done this and enjoy the uh, lovely weather. Good job. Where are you, Bevy? In my front lounge room. Okay. <laughs> I live in... Uh, I live in Mount Hawthorne. In what city? <laughs> in Perth. Perth. All right. With me. Uh-huh. Oh, that explains why you haven't had your morning coffee yet, because it's only 10 a.m. for you, not 12 o'clock. Oh, so you're in the eastern states? Yeah, I'm we're in. eastern. Oh, yeah, Shana's like Queensland. Eastern. I'm in... Melbourne. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mark it on the clock. An hour in, and I want people to, if this is a, if you're someone who is just coming in to understand how to get your immune booster protocol launched, um, I'll mark it that's an hour in for them people to jump on and have a look at that. Great idea. Um, hey? Great idea. <laughs> So uh, the immune booster protocol, you will see on your dashboard, it looks a little sexy thing like this. Um, the immune yeah. booster protocol is the top banner. Oh, you are you a, sharing your screen now? Yeah. Can you see it? Oh, you're in a different section. Yep. I can see it now. Awesome. Um, how's your go have you got your results yet, Bevy? Yeah, but I've just clicked on to see uh, the screen. Back okay, can you just go back into your profile for me and go to the top right and let me know your health type because I want to know. Is she on a? Um, are you? Is she in the app or is she on web browser? Um, I think I'm on web web browser. So where do you want me to go? Sorry. To the top right, you'll see a B. My health type in. Uh, uh, my health type is activator. Yeah, we're gonna have to send photos off. What's that? Because I'm, I'm, oh, hang on. If you can accept me as a coach, I bet you come up as a one, two, five. I'll explain it to you later. We'll send photos off to support because it's probably exactly the same as your sister. I don't even know what any of this means. What's yeah, an activator? That's my health type. So I can explain this to you more after this call finishes. Okay. Um, I'll stay on with you or I'll call you and then I can speak you through it. Um, okay. And I can chat you through your profile and all that sort of thing. Um, what we'll do now is focus on, Shana will take us through the food. Okay. It will, if we send photos off to support and it's probably going to flip you over possibly to another health type, we'll just, we'll talk through that on when we end this call. Then okay. some of this information will change for you. But um, just, yeah, for now, we'll just run through the, the immune boosting protocol and how to work out your foods and then we can discuss your exact what's going on with you exactly after okay cool perfect okay so for everybody coming into that you're going to come into your immune booster protocol let's go into the immune booster protocol and then we'll come back into our food section just after that so first you want to understand what is my immune booster protocol what does it look like and how do i action it and how do i learn what i need to be doing for the next few days so that being said, you will see here, it is the 10 day protocol um, for everyone and everyone's will look different. So for the diplomats, normally a full protocol would be actually 12 days. So for me, I've got 10 full days of the protocol, of the resetting my body protocol. For activators, what do you have on yours, Bevy? Um, oh, hang on, let me... Let me go. Let me see. While you're seeing so that. So where, 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 where do I go? Sorry. Into the banner at the top, the 10 day protocol. Uh, There'll be a. Not, ooh. There. It just. Sorry, what banner? It's just got PH360 in the banner and then three icons. What are the three icons? Uh, B and then a like a love heart and then oh, a bell below the actual homepage, Bevy. So where you go to dashboard, yeah, 
And then it'll say, hello, Bevy. Right underneath will be a banner that says 10, dem, 10 day immune protocol. So give me a yell when you found that. Um, I'll just keep plodding along. So for diplomats and guardians, your protocol may go the entire 10 days. What I urge you to understand right now is that once we finish the 10 days, I'd ask you to go into optimizing and particularly we won't jump straight off of a detox. We're going to want to slowly ease ourselves out of. It's like going and doing a reset on your body and not having sugar for a week and then turning around and having Easter smack you in the face and you then end up on a chocolate binge. You can imagine that's going to cause a lot of stress and chaos for the body. So what we really want to do is make sure that you understand there may still be three or four days after this that you're going to want to reverse out of the reset. If that, mine's if, got seven days of reset and then three days of optimize. Perfect. Guardian, yeah. lucky you. Yeah, mine's five. Activators will tend to be five days because we've got shorter digestional tracts, so it doesn't take us as long. Five days. Awesome. Awesome. And yours Shana's is... 10 feet tall, so she needs the whole time to... <laughs> yes. So diplomats will be 10 days. So guys, you guys are on a full reset for 10 days and we will be reversing out of that. If you are Anne Larson or Leanne and you've received an extra special program from me in the last couple of days, you'll see I had seven days. They've actually given us 10, so just extend that out to 10 days and alternate the day, uh, extend those day time frames. So you're going to come through these guys and go down the bottom and see the daily routine and understand um, all these components. Click continue. This is going to give you a bit of information about your oh, immune. Debbie's gone. That's okay. I'll bring her. Yeah. Okay. Your immune supporting foods. I'm assuming her partner called her demanding that he, she help him with his. No, that was Seth, her son. Oh, her son. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this will show you um, chairs automatically increase the foods that have an immune supporting properties for your food list while you're still maintaining true personalized health based on your body right now. Um, you'll notice that your food ranking has changed to accommodate and then it's going to show you the extra vitamins and minerals that are specific to you right now that your body needs a little bit more of and then the amount of portions of those things. So understanding that what comes out in the food list outputs is specific to you right now and is not just pretty pictures. It is like the Bible of how you're going to get through and really thrive with all of this. So please, um, yeah, let's get really excited about our food lists. Um, get in touch with a personalized health coach. You guys have got one, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, this will give us a little bit of information about immune supporting herb options and why they've been recommended and things like that and why there's some extra things that you can choose to have. Have a read of those. You then go into getting prepared. They've got some wonderful videos here made by our um, our head advisory board and by our, our top coaches um, globally. Uh, it'll be Matt, Beck, Katie, and probably Kyle um, or Dr. Cam. Um, so you can watch through these if you wish to. There are some really great tidbits on understanding the protocol, uh, making uh, t tips to making satisfied salads, which is a diplomat thing, quick tips for simple food prep, dealing with diplomat food cravings, so um, whatever they are on your health type, they will be specific to you. Um, go through and have a look at those. You can come back to this tab at any time and shift on through and go back and watch those. You'll then go into the next section, which gives you your checklist, which is specific to the health type. So you'll need to notice with diplomats, it's clean out your pantry. Buy and prepare your first three days of food in advance. Same for guardians. Yep. So we are very similar. What is in your awareness, what is in your environment will be imperative to whether or not you are balanced and supported to get through this. Um, stocking up on water, checking in with your body, arranging your space and getting the support you need. Whatever they are, go through those. And just check it off. Make sure to check in with yourself because it's your environment that will affect whether or not you are in the right mindset, energy, scape and everything else to really nourish this and do it effectively.
Like if you've got Easter eggs still sitting there on the kitchen bench and you're trying to do a protocol, I guarantee you that is just asking for trouble and a little bit of self-sabotage. <laughs> so clear it out, get rid of it and just, just have it out of sight, out of mind so that you can be fully supported. I really urge you guys to have a conversation with your loved ones that are directly impacting you throughout this next week um, and just have the chat and let them know what you're doing and why you're doing it and what it looks like so they understand what is supporting you and what is not supporting you. Um, it will really make a difference that you have those conversations with your loved ones. Bevy, we're just flicking through the immune protocol. You haven't missed too much. Sage will be able to catch Sorry, up. Sorry, my phone died. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you up. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Oh, fine. So top tips, that'll give you some information there. Flick through that one, have a look. St starting the start date. So even though we've measured up today, we wanted today to be the opportunity to give you guys the information to know when to start. But set your start date. It doesn't have to be tomorrow. We would like it to be tomorrow, but we understand that some diplomats and guardians may need a little bit extra time to figure this out and get everything in the house and be ready emotionally to do this. But just remember, it's technically only a week 10 days out of 52 weeks in the year. It's only 10 days out of 360 days in the year. It's only a small window for you to be opting into this that may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable because there's no bread, there's no biscuits, there's no cake, there's no chocolate. So it's only a very small window of time of which you are going to be required to do this. So just think of it like a cool little challenge that we're going to figure out as to what you're feeling and how your body's going to react. It's a great exploration and it's not going to, you will live. <laughs> so set your start date for when you're going to get started i'm going to set mine for the 15th because i am ready to rock and roll i did just do a video just before this about how to prep for a diplo guardians it will be very similar but yours will be more broths cool um quick question is the benefit in jumping in tomorrow with you guys is go team we're all going to be doing it together. You'll all be going through the emotions together. You'll all be going through the questions. Cool. Excuse the French. You'll all be going through the, all through the shit fits tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll all be going through the emotions and the steps and the process together. There will be times, and, and for the endomorph, I'm going to say this to you, you're going to feel uncomfortable at times, and that's completely okay. We're here to coach you and nourish you through this, and it's certain bodies become emotionally attached to food me massively so as you go through that process it's really great to have that support network of going ah today is just the day where it's just all terrible and we go yeah me too and then mm. you go okay i'm not the only one struggling cool yep um so that will definitely be the benefit choose your date then we come into the meal planner. Choose all your recipes or have it planned for you. So this is you choosing what you want to add in there. You can go through the archive and add them in there. Um, have it planned for you. It just automatically um, auto-populates it. So let's just go into that because I can show you guys how to plan it yourself or let it auto-populate either way. So in here it will pop up. Now you can choose to do this and follow the amazing recipes that are in PH360. Or if you are like me and you just want to get it done simply, I've go back to that video. I'll pop it into here that I just did before here. So you, uh, I'll talk, pop it into the event, the direct link, so you guys can go to that and see how simply it can be done. But if you do like to create, you do like to cook, you can go through here and create your own meal planner. By doing that, you can click on. There's no breakfast added there because some guardians and diplomats for me don't like it. If you're an activator or a connector, you will have five options there. You will have breakfast, snack, morning, uh, lunch, snack, blah, blah, blah. If you're a crusader and a sensor, same thing. Go in, it auto populates for you. But you can go through and choose something. So I'm going to go, pork, pork salad sounds amazing. Oops, don't want to have it twice. So let's add in something else. I don't like that. This little arrow one here is like rolling the dice. What's it going to be? Oh, look, green onion and tofu salad. Lovely. Let's go for that one. Now, um, just quickly a note here for the diplomats. If you are wishing to lose a lot more weight, this is just a reset, so it's lowering your protein intake. I'm only saying this because this is showing me tofu on this recipe, which has triggered this conversation. If you really want to lose a lot more weight and detox a lot more, keep all protein to a minimum. Like for me, none. 
I'm going vegan for the entire week. No grains, no legumes, no fats, no protein, which is what my video earlier has instructed. If you are just wanting to generally strip away some, uh, some, some weight, which is naturally going to happen, um, but you are not too concerned about losing weight, then follow these recipes. There will be some seeds, some nuts, some tofu that's added in there. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Depending on your outcome, your stringent behavior will dictate whether or not you have mass results or whether you have just great results. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't like that one that's opted in there, you can actually just go to the pencil and then you can go through the recipe options and choose which ones you like. You can, um, you can view the recipe first and check out what's in it as to what you've got in the cupboards and then go, yep, cool. I like that. We're going to swap it out for this recipe. Cool. Done. Now I'm going through my dinner. If you don't want to be cooking the same, uh, something different every single day, you can actually just go through and go, right, well, I'm going to make the Mexican fiesta salad last me for three days. So I'm going to go in here and find the Mexican. X, oops, Mexi. Can't spell Mexican. Mexican salad. Great. I want to swap that one out and I want to have the Mexican salad for three days. And then I'm going to have the orange and fennel rocket salad for three days. And, and you can change it that way so you're not cooking constantly. Does that make sense, everyone, feeling comfortable with the way of dealing with that? Yeah, cool. And can you just run us through quickly then um, if, if people want to go through and not use the recipes and use their food list? Yes. Yeah, definitely getting to that. Um, you can put a one. food list in. What's that, Betty? You can put a food, like what's in your cupboard. Yes. So here we'll, put we'll put go... Yeah, we'll go through the food list and then how you would do that because there's been a list created for you that will give you all the optimal foods to be consuming now as your essentially your superfoods to boost your immune system as you are right now. Yeah. So if you come up back up here, you'll see at the top you've got a blue um, heading and it says dashboard, food, fitness, lifestyle, coaching. We're going to go into the food tab to the overview. This is introducing you guys. These cool little colorful wheels are your biological clock for when your gene genetics are going to respond the best to the stimulation of food. Fitness has its own wheel, its own clock. Lifestyle has its own wheel clock. And these are the Bible, the hierarchy. The time at which you do the thing will be the difference as to whether or not you're getting 80% results for 20% effort or whether you're putting 80% effort in and getting 20% results. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Okay. So that clock is cool. If you want to understand a little bit more detail about what that actually means, go to the view details schedule and that in each of the clocks will show you a little bit more of a recommendation as to what should be had around that time frame that is best going to suit your genes to give you the best outputs and health vitality. If we go to the tab, which is marked food list, that one will bring up your holy Bible of all the food things. So uh, this morning, thyme was my top recommended spice, uh, top recommended food out of the entire world. Um, but leeks is actually now shifted for me. Um, I'm wanting to lose a fair bit of weight. So I'm going to ignore that there's any fish added in here. I'm going to ignore all proteins because for me at the moment, I'm ensuring that I am sticking with a full protocol. Um, so from here, you'll see your food list. These here, this first page, they are in order of the most highly recommended foods for you in the whole world. So if you can ensure you find ways of adding these top ingredients into your day as much as possible. <laughs> um, so if you um, have a look at those ones, so you can also see here, you can have a look at the list as to what to eat. And what to avoid. So, all right, what, what, do I, what am I best to avoid right now? <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's very interesting. Um, okay, so this will show you definitely stay away from these things. Mm. But that's also because I've written in wheat. In my allergens, when we're going through the questions, uh, I wrote in that I don't want wheat because I know that naturally my body just doesn't recognize it well. So I just ignore it. Then it will also go through all the other ingredients. So maybe you can start being aware of what's a really no-no thing to try and avoid. I'm going to stick with all foods. I'm going to also show you guys, there's another filter here that will say, okay, I want to see just vegetables. I'm going shopping today. I'm a diplomat. I'm doing this detox thing. And I know that vegetables are a huge component. Show me just vegetables. Great. Then I'm going to go to the shops and buy my top vegetables. 
And if you are ordering in boxes of food to be delivered to you, this is a great way of telling them what you want in the box, right? And then you get it home and you find recipes on how to, or recipes that you can throw all of these things in. And this, the video I did earlier will assist you with understanding that way of doing it. Same with fruit, same with grains, same with proteins, you name it. It will show you exactly what are your top ingredients. At any point, you can shift and change your allergies. If you have any allergies, you can add them in there. If there's anything you really don't like and it keeps popping up in recipes, you can add that in there and have it taken out. You can also go through and print your entire food list. And it will chronologically, in reference of what is best for you, it will then give you a list that you can print out if you wish to, to take it to the supermarket and buy your groceries. Um, very quickly, food guide, uh, we're doing this process at the moment. So we'll ignore that for now. Let's just stick with, let's just stick with understanding the food list. I don't want to overwhelm anyone. I know that's a lot. We're going to stick with just that. These foods that are on this list are the things that are most recommended for you. They will be ranked from excellent to great to good and all the way down. Most importantly, if it has a green color beside it, go for it. Yeah. If it has a yellow or a red color beside it, try and start to limit those things. It's the easiest way to really understand this food list. Yeah. So this question, question. Sorry, yep. what's that? Can I ask a question? Yep. Yeah. So when, if we're doing the 10 day immune protocol, all our what is green for us is taken into account in what the suggestions are. Like if you auto-populate your food, um, your meal plan for the 10 days, um, the system already incorporates all of this into that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. There is a feature coming or on there now that if there's something not available, you can switch it out for the next top thing on your yep. list as well. Yeah. So see down here, there's very... an arrow. I can tick immune booster foods. Click. Yeah. Apply and there was filter. something that tech was trying to do. So say I go and I want spinach and there's no spinach. I can, it'll, I can let them know there's no spinach at the moment and they'll put the next best thing in the recipes for me. But I'm not sure if it's ready in time, but it is coming very soon. Cool. Yeah, this I'm has forced sure. them into some really big shifts, which is we're re really excited about. So again, so, you can go back at any time to any of these sections and have a look. I'd, I'd definitely recommend everyone go back and have a look at the support through the videos. Yeah. There's some really great tips in there for you guys. Um, I will pop in the video I did before about food. Um, what else is there? Well, the most important bit now is to go through the list or go through your auto-populated list and get that food in the house ready to start either tomorrow or when you're ready to start. That's the main reason for us doing the measurements now. So you have time to go and collect that food. Mm -hmm. If you need any more help on precisely what to do, then reach out to me or Shana, probably ideally Shana, because this is her huge area of expertise. <laughs> and she can chat you through even more. Alternatively, put the questions into the group or into the event because someone else might have those questions too. So we can we can help um, mm. everyone if if everyone's having the same concerns. Yeah, yeah. Keep it simple. Don't get too overwhelmed. It is a process. If you have a day where you're really struggling, reach out. Don't suffer alone. Put it into the group. The um the self let me just actually make sure you guys can see that effectively. The self evolution group is where we are supporting you guys. The event um once we're finished on the fifteenth, the event might be a bit more difficult to get into because once events are done, they're kind of they're kind of done. But what we'll do is we'll bring a lot of the protocol out here into into the self evolution biogenetic health coach page, and from here um. You can ask your questions there. Ask your questions. Yeah. We'll answer them straight away. Um, one of us will be on to that. Um, and if you want, if you're really feeling stuck around food, let me know and we'll do a Zoom conversation like this. I'll bring up your food list and I'll show you guys how to make a beautiful combination, beautiful recipes, concoctions, utilizing your food list and sticking to your protocol. That yeah. I'm, I'm definitely open to doing. 
And over the coming, coming weeks, obviously what we're approaching first is food. Um, so you can feed your body with the nutrients that you need, but ultimately we're wanting to reduce stress around this time so we can boost your immune system that way as well. So we'll do some group calls and some coaching around the best ways for each health type to reduce their stress so we can help to support the immune system in that way as well. So we'll be doing all of that over the, the 30 days. Perfect. Um, oh, and one last thing is that it does ask for you to do a before photo. No one else has to see that. You actually, it doesn't get released anywhere, but I guarantee you out of my seven years of being a personal trainer, 98% of my clients have always sat there and gone, God, I wish I'd gotten out of my own way and taken a photo at the beginning for reference. Yeah. I don't get on scales. I don't own scales. I go by how I look, how I feel and how my clothes fit me. So use those sorts of measuring systems. Do yourself a favor, upload an image. And the more you communicate on your mood with your app, the more the app learns what your emotional standpoint is and can support you through that. So please make sure you still interact with the little pop-ups that come through. Yeah. Cool. So any other questions before we let you guys go? No. Right. Awesome. Bevy, I'll give you a call now and chat you through what we need to go through. Okay. Okay. Everyone good? Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks ladies. Bye.